Cardiologist Dr. Romayel Daniel led a team of doctors at Tapia Hospital in successfully carrying out a surgical operation that has saved the life of 15-year-old Daniel Gastor. The patient is expected to make a full recovery. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. Does that mean that you'll be going back swimming? I think so. <laughs> Three of Gastor's siblings died suddenly before the age of 21 after suffering cardiac arrest or a heart attack. The teenager needed a special device called a defibrillator implanted in his heart to prevent a similar fate. But the apparatus was not available on the island and cost thousands of dollars, which was beyond the reach of his family's coffers. However, several groups and countless individuals mounted a relentless fundraising campaign to assist the heart patient. His mother, Angela Gastor, says she is eternally grateful. I appreciate everybody who helped me out, especially Dr. Daniel, who, is, who did the procedure, and Mrs. Octav. Mrs. Octav is my best friend. The procedure was done at the Tapia Hospital free of cost. It, it just says to us that we can all be partners and if we work together as a team, we can make this country a beautiful place. Dr. Romayel Daniel says a special device will reduce Daniel's risk of sudden death. If the apparatus helps restart the heart during the onset of serious complications or difficulties. He says the first person to have this surgery in St. Lucia was saved by the device a few months ago. In January this year, we implanted the first one in St. Lucia. And uh, that gentleman actually was saved in June when he uh, got shocked by the device. He, was, he actually went into a bad beat and got shocked. He would have been dead now. So um, these are devices that uh, if you can put a price on, on a life, then uh, we can start talking about what the price of a defibrillator is. The St. Lucia Heart, Lung and Blood Foundation, the Tapio Hospital and the St. Lucia Swimming Association raised over $48,000 for the surgery. The Ministry of Education contributed $20,000 and the rest of the funds were donated by the general public. The St. Lucia Swimming Association held a swimathon on September 5th at the Rodney Heights Aquatic Center which raised over $7,000.